Hello scrapbookers, this is Megan and I am back today with a fun school stash bash layout. So for this week, I am going to be using these photos of Jonas. And at first I was thinking that I was going to use all three of those photos of him riding the, the bus for the first time since he was in kindergarten. And, but then I decided that was going to be too much. And so here you can see I am pulling out some of my school supplies um, and paper and things that are from my stash and these paper pads are super old like I seriously want to say they're from 2011 I could I could be wrong they might be from 2012 or 13 maybe but they are old and I still absolutely love them so I think I'm gonna do all of this school stash bash series with this collection because I just absolutely love it and this layout turned out so much different than my last layout so I'm just gonna keep going with it okay so now here I am going to decide that I'm going to use a sketch from stuck sketches now that is uh, Laura Whitaker is the owner and I just absolutely love her sketches so I decided to use her sketch that was from September 1st and basically it was just a bunch of strips going in the middle of the layout and then one photo in the middle of the layout so that's pretty much what I do here you can see I'm cutting the strips up and trying to make them fit along the layout at first I'm thinking I'm gonna put that yellow one there but I'm actually gonna move it down and then I'm gonna cut up this green paper that is also behind the photo and I'm actually I don't think I'm gonna end up using that little piece but I just felt like it it blended in too much and all of that this is a nice little sheet of from the I think this is an 8x8 pad DCWV used to make 8x8 pads sometimes I guess and so I have, I actually have like three of them because my idea for scrapbooking their school photos like seven years ago was that I was going to make these cool mini albums and I wanted them all to match and I wanted them to all be amazing and perfect because that's the kind of scrapbooker I am. I'm very OCD about my scrapbooking and it, I made some of them, like I think I made three two maybe I made two two or three and I love the albums but I just never got around to actually doing anything with them and two of them actually I gave to the kids teachers so that didn't work so now I just have one album and I I don't even know where it is oh goodness I need to clean up my room anyway sorry total tangent there back to the layout so now you can see I'm I'm kind of working through all of these paper strips and picking out which ones I'm going to use now here I'm gonna start gluing them down and I am going to rearrange them a little bit so that one that's on the top the one of the solar system I'm actually gonna put a couple rows down where that light blue one is and I just I didn't really like how much it was blending into the background up there at the top I wanted the top piece to kind of stand out a little bit more and here you can also see that my strips of paper aren't taking up as much space as I thought they would so you can see me kind of tapping my fingers like what am I gonna do and so I'm moving that blue piece down and I'm gonna glue that down along with the red and a couple of these I did decide to use my Fiskars scallop punch and make some scallop edges which is always super fun to give some papers that texture of having scallops or you know other other fun little designs so there I'm gluing down the red paper and I'm really loving this like it's not my absolute favorite layout I've ever made but I just I love the story behind it. Um, it this one took me about 50 minutes maybe a little bit more and I actually turn the camera off in a little bit after I get all of the pattern papers done because I'm also participating in a challenge for oh, um, paper issues so they issued a challenge 
asking, you know, saying, challenging us to use a rainbow. So like, um, like in the title. So it was for their working title challenge for the month of September. And what they wanted you to do was use a rainbow alphabet, put the word rainbow in your title, put rainbows on your layout somewhere. Just rainbow was the theme. So I decided to the left here, you can see that there are some really big alphas and those are super old too. I'm not sure when those are from, but they are an old Heidi Swap alpha and it is, what is it called? It's like the resist, I don't know, it's like resist paper or something like that. Resist chipboard is what it is. And so what you do is you spray it and then you wipe off the excess and it has a pattern on it. And so I thought that would be perfect. And it was a bunch of dots. And I just thought that that was perfect for school. I don't know why, but this alpha reminds me of school. I also have this alpha in stamp form and it's from Stampin' Up or not Stampin' Up, no, close to my heart, and it's absolutely one of my favorite alphas. So here you can see I'm adding more up here to the top. I added an orange paper layer, and then I was thinking about adding this yellow, but it just wasn't working, and I just, I didn't like it. So I am going to tap my fingers for a while and then I'm going to add this blue layer. I felt like it needed some more blue up there to help the orange and everything stand out. So here I'm going to start gluing everything down from the apple layer on up and then I think I'm going to start working on my alpha. So I started working on this at night and it was super late at night. Lately I've been scrapbooking late at night. Like I'll start around 10 or 11. And so I won't actually finish until midnight. And then I'm like, wow, how did I last this long? But I mean, it's good. Since I've moved to this new house, which was almost a year ago, you guys, can you believe that? It's like two weeks away from being a year. Since we've moved here, I haven't really been able to scrapbook at night, which is when I would normally scrapbook. So it's really weird for me not scrapbooking at night. Okay, so there you can see that I added some some foam tape to the background just or to the back of the photo just to help it pop off of the page because the the pattern papers do make it a little bit busy, so I wanted your eyes to just focus on the photo immediately and then go around the layout. So here I'm just pulling off my title. At first I was thinking I wanted it to be called Changes. But then I decided, well, this isn't just any old change. This is a big change. Jonas hasn't ridden the bus in, let's see, he's, he started riding the bus when he was six. So seven, eight, nine, six years. I can do math. So he hasn't ridden the bus in six years. And he's going to middle school of all things. It's not, you know, elementary school anymore. It's middle school. So this is quite a big change for him. And he has just taken it like a champ, and I'm just so impressed and amazed by him. Here you can see I'm pulling out a bunch of my sprays and just spraying it on paper. I wanted to make sure I got the right colors, and I'm actually going to end up totally changing what I'm doing. I don't think I record any of this for you guys. I am so sorry. For some reason, I thought I had recorded it. I must have forgotten to push play. Anyway, so what I ended up doing was using my Cheapo Michael watercolors and I just painted those on and then wiped them off with a, a baby wipe and it worked out awesome. So here you can see I've pulled out some embellishments as well. I am going to move the title to be on top of the photo. I just liked how that ran down the page and it helps the page flow a little bit more. So now I'm just trying to figure out if I want to do any more embellishing. So I have that cute little bus to the left of the title and then a lunch bag and then up in the top corner there is enjoy life. And that is all the embellishing I'm going to do. That is everything. I did kind of, after I turned the camera off, I did kind of think maybe I needed to add like a journaling card to the right. So I might do that. You won't see it in the in the pictures or anything because I am posting this up a little 
uh, later than I had wanted to, but I might change it just so that I can do a little bit of journaling about how you know proud I am of him um, taking on these new challenges and these new things going on in his life and that riding the bus is an exciting change for him. And he is so cute. So he is riding the handicap bus. I don't know if I've told you guys about this, but if you're new to my channel, um, this is my oldest son, Jonas, and he is handicapped. He has spina bifida, but he is amazing. He's doing great. He's, he's awesome. So don't worry about him. He is actually really, really well off and has been such a totally blessed kid. But, um, he, we, I was talking with his case manager or his support teacher at his school and she suggested that we put him on the handicap bus. We hadn't planned on it, but just because of how bad the winters can get here, she wanted to make sure that he was safe enough to be able to get on and off of the bus and the handicap bus actually pulls up to the back of the school and he can just walk right into the back door. But with the the every, I don't want to call it the normal bus, but I mean, I guess that's what it is with, you know, the, the normal bus, the kids have to walk across a street and it's not a busy street or anything, but still it's like during the winter when winter gets really bad, cause it will get really bad. He is at risk for falling and hurting himself. And we obviously do not want that to happen. So we decided to change that up and he is riding the handicap bus. And last week he came home and uh, I think it was like on Thursday, they started school on Tuesday. So, so like the second or third day of school, he was like, mom, I made a friend on the bus. Cause he was so excited. He was going to be riding the bus with his friends. And then when he, we switched to doing the handicap bus, he's not going to be able to ride the bus with his friends. And so he was a little bummed, but I mean, he's such a trooper. He was just like, okay, that's fine. I'll do it. You know, I want to be safe. And and he's just, I was so blessed being his mom, you guys. And I know everybody says this about their kids, but he's just such a good kid. Anyway, so last week he came home and was just so excited because he met a new friend and, and the ladies that drive the bus. And then also he has an attendant on the bus. Like they're just so helpful and just so sweet. And I just, I am, I, bleh, I can't even talk because I'm just so happy with how everything is working out. This school system that Jonas is in is amazing for kids that have handicaps and, you know, have IEPs and have 504s and need a little extra help. So long story short, it's all good. <laughs> anyway, that is the end of my layout. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you guys will visit the other ladies videos today and have a great scrappy weekend. Bye. Bye.